Hans, what are we doing in Ultimate Seas Battle Simulations in Epic Inc? Well, Fritz isn't it obvious. I mean, even so, we're dressed like Italianos. Why am I dressed like an Italian, Hans? Because we're in a gladiatorial arena. Look. Oh, well, I guess that's pretty cool. What are we watching today? Who's going to fight the lions and, uh... And the babies? I mean, or the dudes with the armor? Everybody wants to know who would win. Marvel or Star Wars? Duh. Oh my god, my money is on Darth Vader. So, Star Wars? No, Darth, Darth Vader. So, Star Wars... Fritz. Where's my Wiener Schnitzel? All right, guys, so... Why Hans and Fritz are up there just being silly and dumb? As that boy Fritz, I swear, he's not the smartest tool in the shed, is he? But Hans keeps them together. Look at this! We've got some Marvel heroes, and we've got the Star Wars Legends. We have a Stormtrooper, and this guy- <laughs> I mean, who invited this guy? His, his elbow's broken. And we've got a hippie Jedi and a rebel soldier. So, how did this all come to be? Hey, you kids, you need to get off my lawn and start paying your taxes. Bro, I'm a hippie Jedi and I think we need to save the universe. And but I'm thinking the space turtles are choking on a lot of plastic straws, bro. So anyway, enough of that. We're gonna start it off and we're gonna see Who's gonna win? Oh my gosh, Captain America just got knocked back! We got Hippie Jedi- Oh, Hippie Jedi with a nice right hand swing! Dude, Hippie Jedi might just be able to kick these Marvel heroes' butts, I'm not sure- Oh! I spoke too soon. Okay, Spider-Man's over here. We've only got a Rebel Soldier left, and it looks like we got a bit of a problem here. All the Marvel characters are alive. If you think about it, each Marvel character is a super powerful unit gifted with special abilities out of this world or otherwise. I mean, look at Wolverine. He was basically... He can heal himself, and then he was given given adamantium metal bone structure, and Iron Man is just a billionaire genius who developed his own suit. So, some people were just given crazy abilities. This guy bit by a spider. This guy bitten by America. This guy bitten by an angry Wolverine. This guy bitten by a chunk of iron. But when you think about Star Wars, you obviously have the Jedi. Super powerful. But you know what? I'm thinking that outside of the Jedi, there aren't too many remarkable heroes. Now there are, there is Boba Fett, and there are the Mandalorians who, you know, kind of have like you could think of them, Mandalorians, is almost like akin to an Iron Man, maybe. Or a Batman of sorts, you know? Oh my god, these Gamorans are getting their butts kicked. So, it looks like with the lasers being able to put the Marvel heroes back... Let's see, how does this work? They- ooh! See, Iron Man needs the ability to put his shield up and deflect lasers back. Jedis need to be able to do the same as well. So... Spider-Man looks like, let's see, will they be able to- Oh, Iron Man almost got to the Stormtroopers, there we go. The Stormtroopers are starting to drop, now they're gonna be able to close in on this last remnant of Rebel Soldiers. And I'm pretty sure that once one of them gets there, Wolverine's getting hit, Captain America's pretty fast, there we go! One of them fell and then Wolverine just took out three of them, Iron Man took out two, and Spider-Man's just hanging back here like, What it do, baby boo? So, the question is, who would win? The Marvel Universe, or a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away? Star Wars versus Marvel. Now, we've switched up the units, so we're gonna have some Death Troopers, some Imperial Scout Troopers, and some B2 Battle Droids. We've got Hulk, we've got Groot, we've got Black Panther, and we've got Drax here. I figured Groot needs to go with Drax. Man, the amount of fire that's coming in. Alright, so we're gonna speed this up. The Jedi Hippie just got knocked out, but Hulk is unable to get up there. Basically, the knockback of these laser... The lasers... Oh my god, once Hulk gets here... Oh my god, he's literally just gonna be... Oh! Black Panther got in there and wiped out one of the Death Troopers. They're getting so close! Oh, come on, Groot! Get the hit! Oh, Drax got one and Black Panther got one. 
So Hulk is unable to really lay down the pain train. Oh my god, they're actually getting knocked out of the stadium. And what are these green arrows? Don't you wonder? What does it mean? What does it all mean? Why are we here? Why is there a tree man? What's Groot's story? They're just like in another galaxy, right? Speaking of, it's basically a battle of galaxies. Look at these guys. So, you know what? This is gonna have to be settled on the battlefield. No longer in the arena. But will we be able to watch the battle, Hans? No, Fritz, I don't think we will be able to. This is actually rather appropriate because everyone knows that stormtroopers are not accurate. They can't shoot. However, they're doing just enough. Well, we have the single hippie Jedi here to defend and fight and lead the Star Wars army composed of 100 stormtroopers, 100 Gamorrean guards, and 30 Imperial scouts. Now, on the Marvel side, as the first skirmish before the epic battle, each side is basically testing each other out. Who should it bring to the battle and how many? Obviously, there can only be one Hulk. However, I like to think that Black Panther and Iron Man are both like armored battle suits. They could be mass produced and replicated and given to people who were trained properly. And there can obviously be only one Captain America, although his shield could be replicated and he could probably, but they wouldn't be as strong or as brave as he would be. So let's get it on. Let's see who's going to be victorious here. Now, in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, I am limited to only eight different unit types. So I want you guys in the comments below to let me know who you'd like to see fight in the next Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator video. We've got Star Wars versus Marvel. Okay, so it looks like the Black Panthers are leading the charge. They're pretty fast. If one of them actually gets to the front of these lines, that's just crazy. Okay, the Gamorrean guards have just got in here to reinforce the front lines, but oh my gosh, some of the stormtroopers are going down. So this is gonna be incredible, because I'm actually kind of curious if the Hulk can get in there and start messing things up. If he starts punting guys, these lines are gonna fall apart real fast, although he is getting ping-ponged back due to the laser fire. For some reason, there's kickback on a lot of the ranged weaponry. Oh my god, they actually ran through that first bit of defense. So now it's the scout troopers. My god! Okay. So, wow. Wow. All right. There's going to be, need to be an alliance of the remaining Jedis and remaining Sith warriors if they're going to even compete. Well, the Jedi have summoned all forced wielding, well, at least the first avant-garde, the first detachment of force attune lightsaber wielding warriors from all across the known galaxy. The Iron Man numbers have been kicked up to 150. There's Captain America running amongst them. He's a little bit faster, you'll notice. And here we go. The Jedis and the Black Panther trained soldiers from Wakanda have met. Dude, this is awesome. The Jedis? See, that's the thing. I've always wanted to know, like, wouldn't you love to know, like, who would win? Captain America or, like, Obi-Wan Kenobi? You know? Iron Man or Boba Fett? The Hulk or a Rancor? You know? I mean, there's just so many possibilities. These Jedi are doing a fantastic job cutting through the masses of these Marvel heroes. So I'm wondering, should they bring out Thanos? Look at these, the Gamorrean guards are coming in here. Honestly, I think, I think the Jedi are going to be able to walk away with this one. So let's speed it up because we still want to get to the epic battle where there's thousands and thousands of units. So I think there's enough Gamorreans to, and Stormtroopers. The Stormtroopers are all left. The Jedis did a very, very good job being the meat shields. But is it going to be enough? Because you can see the troops starting to fall here. The Gamorreans are trying to protect the Stormtroopers, which is the ranged... You know, reach out and touch someone here. This is, this is like weaponry. But I think, I think this one actually is going, no way. This one will also probably go towards Marvel. Marvel's winning once again, and look at that. Oh my gosh. Do they need more Jedi? Yes, they do. I did a thing. I tried to spawn in one million units to celebrate one million subscribers here on Baron Von Games. Now, the frame rates 
it literally says zero if you look in the upper left hand side of your screen. This is what a million Jedi looks like. I, I can try to press start, but I really fear that I might melt my CPU or my GPU on my computer, and I need it to continue to make videos. Because, I mean, we have a, a community a million strong. We have more people in Baron's Brigade on this channel than there are enemies on this map right now. Is that not mind-blowing? So, real quick, I'm gonna take this moment, you know, it, it, it's just, it's pretty surreal. Look at this. This is what the map looks like with a million. <laughs> All right, so say the forces of Earth found enough brave and highly trained warriors, obviously not as good as the Black Panther, but say they found 2,000 of them. Then they made these Iron Man suits. Maybe some of them were the robotic ones that were made in, what was that, Iron Man 2 or 3? And we've got three Hulk Busters, right? Now, amongst them, we have one Thanos leading the charge, and it looks like he's about to rip... Oh man, that's kind of terrifying. He looks like he's about to rip Iron Man's face off right there. Now, let's say for the Star Wars universe, all the Jedi in the galaxy were summoned 10,000 strong and then they were supported by just a few ranged units and then a bunch of ATSTs. Oh yes, the Empire has set forth like, you can't just use Jedis, use some of our all-terrain scout transports. Let's let the battle start here and this is gonna be the epic moment, man, the clash. Oh my god, look at how fast the Hulkbuster is. The first one got out, the other two are behind enemy lines, or, or rather, in friendly lines, so... This is gonna be interesting to see if the Jedi are able to take out the Hulkbusters. They've got three to deal with. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Yes! <gasps> oh, the Jedi, dude! The Jedi are dope. I'd love to have a dual-wielding Jedi, like Darth Maul, but also just, like, the different stances of Jedi, right? Because there could be multiple ones. There could be Sith apprentices, and these are Jedi Knights, or they kind of look like Jedi Knights. They're kind of dressed like Obi-Wan, and, like, I mean, let's see this battle from above. That first bit of Jedi is cutting through the main force. There are a lot of Iron Men, but with 10,000 Jedi, I'm not so sure. Now, Thanos is here somewhere. It'd be... We'd be hard-pressed to find him, but here we go. We If we get at the level... I think I see all three Hulkbusters. Hulkbusting Iron Man suits, but I do not see a Thanos. We gotta look... There he is! Hello, Thanos. He's like, let me at him. One of, one of the uh, Black Panthers seems to be running away. Or he's trying to get the flank. So let's see, this is just chaos. A lot of the units are getting ping-ponged and so the Jedis aren't able to form a contiguous line. And as a result, I actually think that that could be their downfall. Most of the fighting will fall to Thanos in the Hulkbusters as they are like, what is, what's going on here, man? Giant raid party? Oh my God, look at that, that, that like, that, oh my God, that's so many. There's so many lightsabers. One million Jedi strong. We'll protect- oh my gosh, and the ATSTs are over here. They're firing. Blasters away. Man, they've got a fast rate of fire. The Jedi are cleaning up. Now, this was made by H. John, my boy Dave. Made the ATSTs, and I love them. So how is this going? Let's speed it up. Into hyperspace. Actually, not. This is not moving at the speed of light. This is just moving at twice the speed of time. Well, isn't time all relative, bro? I'm trying to think. Like, they've got a pretty good force here, but the Jedi are just so strong. The Jedi are weak, obviously, in small numbers. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that they're better. Um. But once they, it's almost like once they meet a certain amount, it doesn't matter how many of the enemy force there are. So, I, I don't know. If I was to put my money, I'd probably put it on Star Wars. 
But then again, you gotta think about Thanos. Thanos could, like, go into the Star Wars universe and... Boom. Half of it wiped out. I mean, who would be left alive? No one knows, man. I'm really, I'm really curious to see what hap happens in Infinity War 2. Avengers Infinity War 2. The Jedi are making a pretty strong push here. They haven't even, like, consolidated their efforts. It, they just look like ants who have stepped in, like, glowing radioactive goop and are just running all over. Man, we need Ant-Man, don't we? Remember when we did DC Comics and the Flash was so fast he was probably the best unit for the DC Comics universe in the battle of DC versus Marvel? We've, we've shown Star Wars versus Marvel. I'm very curious who you want to see next. We've done all kinds of stuff. We've even done Green Plastic Army Men, which was pretty interesting. I've got some new units for that, including some tanks and artillery units. So this is great. We have a night battle going on now, and it literally looks like, like a rave going on, man. We have a rave. A rave of heroes. So yeah, 7800 versus 5600. And here we go. Which is your favorite movie series? Star Wars, the Marvel movies, there's so many. The DC movies. I'm gonna throw in Lord of the Rings movies in there because they make a lot. You know what would be cool is Game of Thrones units would be pretty dope, wouldn't they? So this is what two times speed looks like. I almost wonder what if we were to... The Marvel forces call in the power of the sun. Just kidding, it's a nuke. Oh, it wiped out some of them. We need another nuke, another tactical nuke to take out the ATSTs. All ATSTs have been decimated. It, it, oh, oh, they're, they're making a smiley face. It's amazing, kind of like the art. It's a beautiful thing to watch these battles. Especially when the lines aren't just like one line and one line and just two rectangles just smashing against each other. But like, when the curvatures of the battle lines start happening, it makes you wonder. I mean, it would be absolute. Oh, oh, never mind. I looked at the wrong number. But imagine watching a battle where they were to meet. You know, like uh, melee combat battles of the old world. What it would look like. I mean, I wouldn't want to look too close because war is heck, heck and heck, as they say. But just like how. You know, units break en route as they just, like, get depleted or just fear or drop in morale happens. Because that's the thing. Even if you were to play, like, Total War games, you don't see battle lines form like this. You know? There's this just natural flow of things. Even in Total War, they're still kind of blocky by nature. It'd be very curious to see if tabs could handle hundreds of units or if... if in the future, as technology advances in terms of, like, processing power or just, like, game development. Oh, man. Yeah. Look at this. Now it's like, look at this. This is your lips, and they're, like, making a kissy face, right? And the, Or this is the mustache. Or that could be the mustache. So you guys got to let me know what you want to see in the next one because this one looks like it's going... The Jedi's way. The Jedi's... I mean, that's what I thought. So I was wondering why the battle lines seem to form. There's like a bulge here. And that's because there's a Thanos and there's a Hulkbuster unit. So they're strong enough... Oh, I thought Thanos went down for a second. To hold this. Eventually what's going to happen is this is... There's probably just going to be circles forming around the Hulkbusters. Let's see. I don't even know what shape it's making right now. The Jedi are not moving around and encircling. If they were to encircle, this would go significantly better for them. All right, check this out. So the last remaining forces are all here in the middle. There's finally a decent surround. There's still a lot of, like... Black Panther soldiers, Wakandan warriors, and they're all bunched up in the middle. Some of them seem to, like, somehow get out. They get knocked out. So then there's this just, like, group that just run around cutting them down, man. However, the discrepancy between the two forces is closing. And look at this. There's actually a few scout snipers here. And death troopers. Who are you shooting at? Oh my god, I thought there was a Star Destroyer out in orbit, but it was just the sun setting and a building blocking the shadow. 
So here we go. Look at this, man. It just looks like a, a bunch of ants getting pushed back by the waves. Oh my gosh. They're, they're gonna break out. They're about to break out from that, aren't they? Oh, look at this just slow pushing out. It's like an oozing ball. But you know what? We'll never be able to answer who would win. There can be no victor. Although I'd safe to say, I think Marvel's, I was about to nuke them. I was. Look at how the tides have turned. There's, the ranks are closing. I think Marvel's gonna walk away and it's largely due to the Hulkbusters and Thanos, wherever he is, unless he has been taken out. No, there he is. It's really hard to see due to the lighting. Thanos and all three Hulkbusters are still alive. Or is it just two? Hulkbuster 1. Hulkbuster 2. Thanos. One of the Hulkbusters has been taken out. No, there's two there. All right, yeah. So they're forming, like, the three points of this triangle. Honestly, the Jedi are getting wiped out by Marvel. And that is how it would happen. This has been going on forever. I think it's safe to say that with the Hulkbusters and with Thanos in there, they were able to overpower. Probably due to the fact that Thanos could snap his fingers and eliminate half of the Star Wars galaxy just like that. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Another episode of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Let's nuke everything because it's fun. Yeah, look at that. Oh, three remained. I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy one million Baron's Brigadiers. One million subscribers, it's a massive accomplishment. Thank you so much for helping to make that happen.